automatically a student, uh, and I was thinking for a student, for somebody who is a beginner in subtitling or audiovisual translation in general, it, it can perhaps seem a bit overwhelming uh, to think about all these skills um, that you need to master. And perhaps uh, getting certified is a way to test yourself and see if you have already achieved all these goals. Or it can be also a sort of a goal to strive for. Why do you think there is a need for certification in subtitling? Because obviously setting up a certification system create, it takes lots and lots of work, right? So why did you decide that it's worth it and that there is this need for certification? Um, I think that this is a question that was um, in the air for a while. And I think it came to mind when with Jorge de Asintas, we started thinking about um, action research, uh, the areas of research that we cared about that could have an impact on people, some kind of benefit. And this was during the pandemic, so it was a special period there. And so if we look back at the long list of skills required to be an expert in subtitling, I think that the truth is that uh, if there's, there is no external body um, out there to test, um, assess, and certify in an objective way that an individual can perform a job at the highest standard. There is no way for us to know if somebody is an expert, right? Um, being an expert is not a feeling, is not a way you carry yourself, is, you know, is not how popular you are on social media or how many followers you have, right? It's not about that. You need to prove it. So I think that in the realm of translation, at least in the UK, which is where I live and operate, um, bodies such as, you know, uh, the Chartered Institute uh, of Linguists or the Institute of Interpreters and Translators, uh, they offer prestigious um, qualifications for translators not operating in the ABT field, of course. And those certified translators are experts, for sure, and we know it. In the ABT field, we are very fine, uh, far behind in this sense, until now. Um, I think that we have been lucky to have the support of um, some language service providers, um, that I think believed in this vision. Um, and I think we are in the process of trying to align subtitling as a profession to translation and uh, trying to make this profession officially acknowledged. I think this is the sense of the AVT Pro certification. We can see that the certification is very much present in many uh, disciplines, including translation in general. And it, uh, it is actually a bit straight as it has been missing in the area of subtitling for so many years. So it's high time that we have a certification for subtitling. Uh, 